Well, I'm joined by Mark and Nico here in the Balcomin Theatre studio, and we've just been seeing the film, of course, we've been talking about it, the one that's been filmed on the Isle of Man. I, I, I've got to say, yeah. this guy, I loved it when you what? said you were here tonight in it as a Queen tribute act. Yeah. Yeah, no, because this is, you're, you're smiling at me. Show must go on. Guys, well done. I mean, you Thank know, you. coming here back to uh, have a critique here on the island. I mean, the mm. film, was it all shot here or, or half it? Or, I mean, which all shot here. All shot, all shot, all shot here. here. Yeah, we spent yeah, about entirely. a week here. Mm. Yeah. We stayed at the Penta Hotel oh. on the seafront. Yeah. It was lovely. It was a bit windy, but no, we had a lovely time. Yeah. No, it was great. I mean, the Iron Man played a huge part in the, in the, in the show because, you know, you can only read so much about what it was like to be here back in the days with the barbed wire between you know sort of you and the sea and you know the hope of going back home mm. but actually being here with the wind with the sea <laughs> like sort of with a stormy sea yeah um it, it, it just made it made it all real mm. and really. a very tight budget because the the, mm. the fencing on the prom for instance yeah. is so little of it and yet you have to make it look bigger on on film right yeah absolutely well we only had what about four meters of barbed wire yes. <laughs> Yeah, so you have to film around that very cleverly, but I think Marco pulled it off, our director. Indeed. We've interviewed Marco, so we've heard all about okay. that side of things. But for you, and the, oh, I should say this is the RTS uh, Isle of Man inaugural event, which uh, I'm part of that thing. But mm -hmm. uh, it was great to see so many people here today, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah fantastic. Oh, it was uh, mind blowing. I, I think they were only I, expecting about 30 or 40. Yeah, I so thought it was going to be a 25 people um, venue. And, um, and this is one of the first. Attending. First yeah. events I've done here, so right. fantastic. Set yeah. the bar high. Thanks. <laughs> we can just watch a little bit of the preview while we're having a chat, and we can see your sure. bars. I mean, you, uh, that's what I was getting to, really. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, laughing yeah. your head off here. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're playing a, a pretty nasty <laughs> character, <laughs> weren't you? Yeah, I was, yeah. Is that no, typecasting? No, not at all, really. Well, do you know what? It is nowadays, actually, to be fair. <laughs> since, I've, since I've started it, yeah, I don't know why. I just got that look, I suppose. But no, I usually play the geeky best friend. But um, when Mark... Uh, or the Queen the tribute. Or the Queen tribute. I love yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually Rami Malek. I'm uh, in disguise. No. Um, yeah, Marco sent us the script because uh, I worked with uh, Sam, his producer, and he's a big supporter of mine and comes to see a lot of shows and stuff. Uh, I'd worked with Nico on Borgia. So, uh, we, we, should, we should talk about some of your pedigree. You mm. should know me from where? Spitz, which, what have you done? What's that? TV show? Oh, you should know me from such things yes. as. Okay. Oh, uh, 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 yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm McClure. Troy McClure. <laughs> uh, and you would know me from such things as Sleepy Hollow. Oh, you've done some good stuff. Calendar Girls. Yeah, well, Bo well, Boardwalk Empire yeah, was, my, re was yeah. my recent one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I did, um, well, unfortunately, I've only been acting for about five years. So I've done, I've done a TV series called Borgia, yeah. which we did together, uh, which is on Netflix. And, um, and then I did three films, but unfortunately, only one just came out in, in the United States, which is called We Die Young. But then I've got two more that haven't come out yet, so... Yeah, you wouldn't you know me know. from anything else but Borgia <laughs> and uh, Brothers of Italy. Absolutely. Yeah. So we, we've now seen what is effectively Marco calls his calling card. He wants to make this a, a, a TV show, I think a three series arc he was even talking about. This sounds fantastic if it goes to that. All that then will just be put to one side, I believe. That's that, what you filmed already. And you start again. Well, that's kind of our business card, really. It's uh, what we can do with the talent and with the material and, you know, with a bigger budget, obviously, if we can do that with a, you know, whatever budget mm -hmm, we had mm -hmm. to do it, think about what we could do with a, a bigger yeah. budget. So it's kind of a, yeah, it's sort of a business card, really, yeah. to, to go to people and trying to turn it into a TV series. Well, I wish well, because the Isle of Man, we, at one stage, I don't know if you know, we had a, quite a big film industry, and it all seemed to disappear with the tax really? structures that changed. Sure. So it's nice to see... Uh, people coming back and uh, I think you had quite a good time here right is that correct? Oh, it was a fantastic yeah. time yeah the people yeah. were lovely uh, really welcoming everywhere we went the crew were fantastic yeah I mean and as you've seen um, there was anyone from like actors I mean one of the main star of the film the little girl <laughs> yeah. incredible yeah. is she yeah um, sure. to sound operators to camera um, yeah. Cameraman, yeah, you've got Max Krug, director of yeah. photography, yeah. 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 Um, to anyone helping out, extras. But if he, there was a sort of family vibe to it, which um, it's kind of rare in, on film set, and uh, and it was beautiful. It just made the whole process a lot easier. Well, you're just the baby just starting off in your sea, you know, yeah, you're just starting right. But you right. know, I've I've experienced a yeah. few, and I think <laughs> it's very, like you know, it's 
This has been, obviously, I've known Mark before and I, I had a long conversations with Marco about Marco. And you are Italian, Marco. I take it. Yes, I am. Yes, I'm fluent. Well, yeah, yeah. It's quite English sound, isn't it? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we do, so I, I sort of knew where I was going and where I was heading and who I was heading in the direction with. Mm -hmm. It sort of from the direction. Makes, makes sense. sense. Anyway, who was uh, helping me in the direction? <laughs> anyway, so basically, I knew. That's a blooper. It's like we can yeah. use this. You know, we become famous. And let's think. We run yeah, this exactly. then. That's where but, it no, but I, I sort of, I had, I knew where I was going, and I knew what I was doing, and I knew I was in a, I had a bit of a safety net because I, I had people that I can trust and people that I can sort of play yeah. and Marco, be safe a, around yeah. and he created that sort of team spirit yeah, which absolutely. is yeah. which is very rare on film set like yeah. it's it's it happens and quite to often let us as get. actors you know just have a go at, uh, you know bring our own choices and just have a go oh, that yeah. was the biggest but, thing and then just come up to us and whisper something without giving too much yeah. away you were playing yeah. part of marco's grandfather yeah. Yeah. you know and it, it was quite interesting the, the chit chat we've had after the film about how you portrayed him but you didn't know if you were portraying him one way or the other way and he didn't want to tell you either yeah. no I, I we had this uh this conversation before we started filming where i i said i didn't want to portray his granddad based on his memory yeah. and he was completely on on board with that and uh, yeah when you had the premiere in London one of the relatives cried yeah yeah the uh, Litcher the, the uh, wife of, yeah. of the character oh. that I'm portraying so yeah. it was yeah. honestly the most incredible moment of my life as an actor and probably will ever be because I mean that's yeah. You know, it, it is better than winning an Oscar. You can't get better praise. I'm than saying that. it now. But I'm not sure, yeah. but it's close. <laughs> no, but, uh, you know, it's. Uh, yeah. I made, turn down the Oscar. I made something that was. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm not <laughs> by by no means, but it was incredible. Like <laughs> okay, guys, thank but you so much. Yeah. Uh, two bits of info. One is um, you can get some information on the Twitter feed and the also the website for the film. And mm -hmm. if you want to follow that and help out, I'm sure it'll be crowdfunded. Nothing else, but who knows? It's Netflix or it's a, it's. BBC or something, right? That's Hopefully. going to pick up on it. That's the plan. That's and the secondly, plan. RTS, which now has got an Isle of Man branch, so we can put some information there if you want to become a member. I'm on board, so I should make that clear. I'm part of the team. And uh, hopefully we'll see you guys back soon with more barbed wiring. Is that all right? Absolutely. Hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully.